When we talked to Ada's Matt Wilcox at the beginning of the swim season, he talked about wanting to improve on last year's fourth place finish in the 50 free. After swimming the second fastest 50 in yesterday's prelims, Wilcox poised to do just that. In our Kelly's Poco Loco State Swim Meet coverage, here we go from Canton. Lots of local fans supporting Northwest Ohio today at the D2 State Swim Meet. Start with the A final in the girls 200 medley relay. It's for sales taking eighth in the state at 150.68. Next up, it's the B final of the boys 200 IM. Van Wert's Eric Easley. Eighth place as well, 203.18's his time. Girls 50 free, B final. Wapakoneta's Josie Miller comes in sixth, 24.46. Versailles' Lexi Fleeman, eighth place. Now the girls 50 A final. Defending state silver medalist Emily Murphy of Shawnee. Can she do it in her final year? Yes, she takes gold in 22.95, heading to Pitts next year. Boys turn to the 50 B final. Ada's Mitchell Wilcox will come in third place, 21.95. Wapak's Charlie Seth in fifth with Shawnee's Brittany White is in eighth place. Now the A final and the Wilcox brother, Matt, of Ada will finish fifth with 21.45, his ticker time. B final in the boys' 100 butterfly coming up next, and it would be Salinas Tyus Temple finishing in fourth place. 52.47 is his final time for that. A final in the fly for sales. Mitchell Stover seated first coming in and first at the wall. State champ with a time of 50.15. More highlights from Canton, lots of great local swims, girls 100 free, A final, it's Emily Murphy again for Shawnee. This time she adds a bronze to her gold, finishing 50.76. Having a lot of fun watching her over the years. Girls 20 free relay now, B final. Salina second place here, 10th overall in 140.14. Shawnee finishes its 16th place. A final for the relay would have we see we've heard a lot about Versailles this past season, and they would end up coming in eighth. Fleeman touches for eighth, 139.40. Boys, 200 relay next, B final. Shawnee finishes fourth in the heat, 11th in Ohio, 130.41. A final for the boys relay. Versailles coming in seventh at 129.22. Back to girls highlights now. Girls 100 backstroke. In the B final, it's Versailles. Hannah Marshall taking 15th in the state at 59.42. Her Tiger teammate, Mitchell Stover, in the backstroke A final, along with Cougars Eric Easley. Stover sixth in 51.93. Easley is eighth. Three local ladies in the 100 breaststroke. That's more boys there for you. 100 breaststroke is coming up next. There we go. Three local ladies in the B final. It's Amber. Seibert from Versailles, third, 108.44. Minster's Nikki Borgering, sixth. And Kenton's Mo Gray is seventh. Finished with the B finals in the 400 free relays. Versailles girls, fourth in 341. Shawnee ladies, sixth. And the boys turn in the 400 B final. Tigers coming in second. Their time is 317.48. Tribe would finish in sixth place. Brazil boys finished tenth in the team standings as well. And Andy caught up with a couple of the gold medalists. Oh, the 50 free was crazy. Honestly, when I swim that event, I can't even. I don't even have time to think. I just go in and do what I know. And I'm happy. All the training that I put in really paid off during that event. Honestly, when I was swimming the 50, I could barely see the person out of the corner of my eyes. I just knew. It's such a quick race, you just have to push it as much as you can. And um, all my competitors, including myself, really did that today. And I'm really proud that I went that time. I was just really good. I was glad that it was close to the end. I think anybody could have won it, but I just happened to pull out at the end. So I was so happy. As soon as I saw I won, I was ecstatic. I'm just happy with what I did um, all season to come in and finish in a top 10 in the A finals is what I've been shooting for all season. So I'm happy with it.